garden and there are lots of places, there are lots of, there were lots of windows. <laughs> Hiding in the palace. Hiding the palace. Yeah. Are you excited? about that. So now we're just having a picnic on the lawn Mommy. and um, then we're going to just Mommy. explore for the maze and play areas so it's a lovely day, it's, the weather's lovely. And we have come to the park. My friend Katie, who used to live in Dubai with us and was one of our closest friends, so I think we used to see each other pretty much every day. She moved home to the UK, was it a year ago, Katie? Two. Two years ago. And we see each other every time that we come back. Um, Rafi and Sunny were best friends when they were little ones, and Katie is now Wilfred's godmother. So she's travelled down from Surrey to see us for the day. We're going to feed the ducks, maybe have ice cream, and then we're going to head for lunch.
off this week's vlog with a quick um, roundup of the little things that I have bought for our baby number three, who is our first little girl. So although we've got quite a lot at home, we don't need much for her. Um, we've been given a lot of things from friends and we've also got a lot of neutral things that the boys wore. Um, I wanted to buy a few little girly things, I think that's quite natural. So the first thing that I bought is this very cute little bonnet by a brand called La Coquetta. I imagine her only wearing this in the hospital for the first few days because um, Dubai is obviously going to be very hot in September. Um, but it's got a really cute vintage feel that I like. It ties under her chin and it's available in lots of different colours. And I have just had a look on the website and it's currently reduced. So La Coquetta, very sweet. Secondly is a brand that you will have seen on My Little Wilfred wearing. Um, Fred and Noah, they make very cool leggings. For boys they make dinosaurs, diggers, tool kits all over their leggings. For girls I've gone for these fuchsia cloud print leggings and also um, a second pair with feathers on them and the feather ones also come with matching scratch knit, so it's a very cute, I can't imagine they'll style for very long, but I liked them, and they're in the smallest size that Fred and Noah make, so she should be able to wear them right from the early days. Um, then the next thing is actually a gift from a friend. I had seen this very same sleep suit in Le Petit Bateau, which is in the UK and the UAE, but it was so expensive and I just thought it was a waste of money for something that she would only wear a few times. So I was very lucky with my friend Alex, who was gifted this sleep suit for her little girl Beatrice, um, who didn't get to wear it very many times before she grew out of it. Um, and she's passed it on to me for my baby, so I got the sleep suit that I wanted. Um, it's covered in flowers and again has that kind of vintage feel. Um, last but not least, I bought a set of three sleep suits from Next. Next is available in the UAE and the UK as well. Um, I will put the links below. These sleep suits are all covered in little rabbits. Um, they have quite a girly but vintage feel and they come, the second one's got slightly, slightly small rabbits and the last one is covered in really teeny little rabbits and flowers. So these are in a size up to one month, which is the second size that Next do, but my babies tend to be about seven and a half pounds, so the first size would probably not last them very long. So that's that. Um, I'm planning to do a bit more shopping while I'm back in the UK, but I, as I said, I didn't don't really need much. Um, so that wraps up this week's vlog, I hope you've enjoyed it, I will be vlogging again next week, we've got some really nice day trips planned with my family next week, um, and until then have a really nice weekend and we will see you again then! <laughs>